The thing about NG120 is you get to start engineering things right off the bat. Right now what we're doing is we're loading the hay into the feeder so then we can hang it up for the giraffes. You get to go through the process and um, just like be creative and design something. It's really cool. There it is. There. And now it's hanging from the winch and then it'll just be raised up. Took our team name from the zoo actually. They had, a, we had, they had an exhibit when we first came called Kula Kamba. So we thought that was really cool. So we call ourselves Team Kula Kamba. Now it's actually ready. So we just leave and let the giraffes come and attack it. They don't have a problem eating. It's, uh, we just want to make that food that we give them last all day long. So we want to make it difficult for them. We don't want to just hand the food to them. That'll be too easy. But we want to stimulate them mentally and physically. In the giraffe's natural feeding environment, they have to kind of navigate tree branches and things like that. So if you can see those white PVC pipes, they're actually on um, casters that swivel. So when the giraffes hit them, they'll move around. So it actually makes it more challenging for the giraffes to navigate past those. And then we put some holes behind those to try to make the giraffes come at them from an angle and just try and make it replicate more of like a, a random feeding environment, which they have in the wild. The first time we went out here, the giraffes kind of went like a couple feet and then they all just stopped. And they all just like gave this, they all just started like staring and turning their heads towards the feeder and kind of giving like a, what is that kind of look? And I guess eventually after like a minute or two, they kind of, uh, I guess like voted someone off the island to go and try and like check this thing out. One of the giraffes ended up going like right up there to the feeder and started like rubbing his head against it, licking the branches, uh, just like trying to see what this thing was and smelling it. Yes, yes. Oh. They spent all semester building this and we meet with them throughout the semester and it's really great. Real world working experience and you get to see like your finished product out here, which is really cool. I really did not expect anything whatsoever like, like this my freshman year. And I'm just so glad I took this class. It's a very awesome experience to be able to work with like giraffes and the zookeepers and everyone here is so nice. And just, I don't know, to have something that I can see on a regular basis because I'm actually from Houston. So I can come here and I can say, I can say like, hey, I helped make that feeder right there. I always knew there was a reason that I loved rice just because it's, uh, such a great place to be and there are so many opportunities but I never really thought that one of those opportunities would be you know going into the giraffe pen at the zoo and seeing giraffes eat out of the feeder that I built so that's a really cool experience just to be able to do something so unique like that and I think that's something that um, rice especially has to offer. Oh good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>